everyone, I'm Aaron. he's Drake, both of Halo Varsity, and we are here to recap what we just heard from both defensive coordinator Bill Bush and offensive coordinator Mark Whipple, as well as a little schedule update. So, Drake, let's just get started on the offensive side of things. What was the general theme of what Mark Whipple had to say today? Yeah, he talked about how the offense has uh, cleaned things up over the bye week, and on both sides of the ball, there was a lot of talk about the run game for the offense. You know, how about getting the run game going? And Whipple said, you know, the offense needs to be more balanced and they want more success with Anthony Grant and the run game as a whole. Um, so they're working on that. That's the offensive line has provided a challenge in that area with the injuries on that front. But he said they are improving and, you know, continuing to work on that. That does mirror a lot of what Mickey Joseph had to say yesterday. They want to get Anthony Grant going. Um, this Illinois defense presents a challenge. It's a top five defense in the country right now. It's something that they are aware of. In fact, both coordinators did not recruit last week. They stayed in Lincoln working on different schemes and getting things ready. With that said, it's also worth noting that Illinois also had a bye week. So they had that same amount of time frame to kind of work through this. So it's, it's a challenge. Um, when it comes to the defensive side of the ball what did Bill Bush have to say today yeah well Chase Brown in the Illinois offense they run the ball really well uh, he talked about how they're not aiming to you know completely shut down the Illinois run game they said uh, Bill Bush said that he's not gonna come in here and rush for four yards but they want to control it and stop the big runs and Chase Brown will turn a three-yard run into a six-yard run so they want to limit those types of plays and they worked on that this week um, tackling and just making sure they can get that done and we will hear again from Mickey Joseph tomorrow being Thursday, depending on when you're watching this. Um, so we'll, we'll get a little bit more from him as, a, as far as what we will expect to see. It sounds like the bye week was good for everyone, even just from a health perspective wise. Casey Thompson talked about that quite a bit on Tuesday, just the ability to just kind of regroup and reset. Right. Um, but this is a five week challenge ahead for Nebraska. There's a lot of season left. We know that this team really has a lot of belief. Marcus Washington talked about that. That. And I mean, and you can tell me if you agree with this or not, but that's been, in my opinion, at least the theme of the coaches as well, is that idea of belief and really an instilling in this team that anything is still possible and ahead for this team. Yeah, you know, this team is still believing, and Bill Bush talked about Nick Henrich and losing him due to injury, but he's still a player that, you know, changes the room when he walks in with his leadership, um, and that's something he provides to the team. And it's something, you know, that doesn't seem to be – an issue for Nebraska right now is that attitude and you know still believing they can do this and with the injury note Garrett Snodgra Snodgrass excuse me and Luke Reimer also back they're um, thankfully available for Nebraska which is a, a great step forward last thing uh, we haven't had a chance to really dive into this yet it just came out Nebraska's 2023 schedule has been released we already knew the non-conference matchups we officially have the conference matchups. You can head to Hale Varsity's Twitter. We have more there. Um, but the only first question I have for you, Drake, how do you feel about a Thursday night game to kick off the season at Minnesota for Nebraska? Yeah, uh, that's interesting. Um, I I don't know if I have any thoughts on that. It's, it's definitely a thing that's happening, a Thursday <laughs> night game, not what you usually see, but it'll happen. So. I, I really appreciate that. It's a thing that's happening. Um, go ahead to Hale Varsity's Twitter account right now. Uh, look at the schedule. Nebraska has shared that. And let us know what you think. I want to know uh, your thoughts on a Thursday night game at Minnesota to open the season. It's actually going to be quite the uh, start to the season considering Nebraska will go to Minnesota, come home, at least gets that extra couple of days to recover before having to travel to Colorado back-to-back -back travel weeks it'll be it's gonna look we still have five weeks of the 2022 season to get through but hey if you want to look ahead and maybe start making your travel plans for 2023 you can do it we will have plenty more at hailvarsity.com and here on our youtube channel be sure to like subscribe follow all of it across all of our uh, channels be sure to head to hailvarsity.com i can't even think of everything you should do but if it has hail varsity Go ahead and like and subscribe. Drake, thank you as always for your time and expertise. Yes. Any last thoughts? <laughs> uh, nope, I think we're good. Just go to hellvarsity.com. <laughs> Exactly. We're really good at selling this to you. So if you have not subscribed yet, I don't know why you haven't because that was the biggest selling point right there. We just crushed that. We'll talk to you later. 